plus seven. Why do I keep clicking on the wrong thing? <laughs> Don't answer that. That's fair. Top 2%. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't expect it to come for free. <clears throat> MFers on New Year's 1600. So true. So true. On New Year's 1599. Let's go! 17th century! It is... Obviously, everybody knows this, but it is funny to think about it. This is anti-moth protection by the way. Um, I'll be a usual fish. Wait, let's cut this for a second, because someone asked me what's my 5k PR. I'm not going to answer that question. But did you see the person? I saw it because Slime quote tweeted it. Um, that is not anti-moth protection, by the way. That someone in the Smash community said, that's nice, bro. What's your mile time? To try to like, you know, big, big leg them. Be like, hey, hey, nice opinion, bro. What, by the way, what's your mile time? And then someone said, why don't you post yours first? And then they tried to flex. I'm so sorry to do this to you if you're watching. But they tried to flex. They said, it's a little iffy because usually when I run, I run for at least two miles. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize we were dealing with the marathon runner here. But anyway, they were like, here's my mile time from my last run. And it was like 11 and a half minutes a mile. And you're like, bro, you can't be out here posting, like, what's your mile time when you got an 11 and a half minute mile split? That's just like, I'm happy that you, you're doing couch to 5k. I'm just trying to protect you because like that's, you're not beating too many people with that, okay? Now, in general, is there anything wrong with it? The only thing wrong with it is you were trying to stunt on other people, okay? You let your mouth write a check that your, your new balances can't cash yet. Okay, this is a big one for me. This is a thinker. I, I think this is lovely for now. Why not? Honestly, my best, all, all this is sincere. My best 5K time when I was running, I'm an insane person for the record. So 98% of the runs I did were basically exactly the same. They were 60 minute 10Ks. And then I was like, this is not hard enough anymore. And then I started running 90 minute, 15 Ks, and I blew out my meniscus and my legs never been the same. So take some advice from me. Don't do that. Um, but I do remember one time I was like, I don't have time for a 60 minute run. So I'm just gonna try to like see what my 5K is. And it was like a 23 minute 5K, which is good, but it's not that impressive. But I also would not be out here on Twitter going like, that's nice, bro, post your 5K time. It's, it's good enough for someone who jogs, but it's not like I was in track and field. Me looking for validation. <laughs> I do think that because it's been a while since I sprinted, there is a chance that the first time I sprint, all of the ligaments in, in both of my legs would just snap. Like, I, I think when you're a kid, you're kind of running all the time. So you, you build up the strength in the in the tendons and the ligaments but when you're uh, an adult you know re realistically speaking i haven't sprinted like more than i don't even know how many t total since i've been adult how much sprinting have i done nearly zero okay so these my acl my mcl they've never sustained an adult's weight while sprinting and you're getting, when you sprint, you're getting a lot of tension going through those sons of guns. I'd, I'd be scared, man. I think there's something might snap in my, in my legs. 
But I'm willing to do it for the vine, I suppose, if I have to. How are you going to beat an eighth grader then? Well, I think that by the time I took like my third stride, I'd probably be like 99 meters into the dash. So then I just got to like roll. If I just roll to the end. I read something that 95% of adults have not sprinted since they turned 30. What, what stand up? Is this Dane Cook? I'm so embarrassed to, to be saying this. Does Dane Cook have the joke that like after you're an adult, you can't run in public because you just feel silly? Like, I mean, jogging is one thing, but to see an adult sprinting is like the sort of thing that inspires fear inside of you. Because you're like, they, they're running from something, obviously. Unless you're Tom Cruise. <laughs> true, true. Unless you're Tom Cruise. Hang on, give me, give me some of this. Give me all your loving, and I'll just do you one better. All your hugs and kisses too, please. This team doesn't look too bad. We have no scaling yet, but it's not too bad. Sprinting at an airport, most acceptable public place? Kind of, but it's scary. Like, if you see someone sprinting at the airport, you're like, they're either running to their gate or we've all got to go hide, like, right now. That's fair. I guess it's okay if you see an adult running and they're... Oh, you spider. <laughs> you spider. And they're in gym clothes. You're like, I'm okay. But if you see an adult running and they're in, like, normal clothes, you're... You're like, oh, snap. <laughs> um, I gotta go. Whatever, I'll give you, I wanna give you some garlic, but it is what it is right now. How we, how we doing? Nobody's eliminated yet. I see some tortless. You know what? I'm just gonna call my shot. I haven't gone up against Tortle Man yet. I'm gonna run camel position too. I'm gonna I'm gonna run this up here to blow out a turtle. Can you live react to the Apple presentation? I'm not in the ecosystem, man. So I don't I don't know what I would even say. I don't I don't have an iPhone. I use my daughter's iPad sometimes to load up YouTube Kids so she can watch Peppa Pig or the, the Duggies or whatever. It's not my area of expertise. Ooh. Ooh, we're still out. We eliminated somebody. I shouldn't be so happy. It's a sick reflection of our society that I was so happy I eliminated somebody. It's not me, brother. It's not me. That's society's problem. It has nothing to do with me. Don't make yourself... Don't embarrass yourself. What is your area of expertise? I think about that sometimes. <laughs> it's the greatest shop I've ever seen. Straight up. We freeze the whole thing. We run four squads. Did you do no screen time with your daughter for a bit? Yes. Um, until like age... I just I don't even remember, honest. I think we did none screen time until she was like one and a half. And even now we like limit screen time. I'll just be honest, though. Like, <laughs> people, people don't want to hear it, but somebody has to advocate for the parents because we got all these childless Gen Zs and millennials out here that are like, I'm at a restaurant and a kid is quietly watching an iPad. Oh, whoa, I feel so bad for these kids being neglected. Kid is not being neglected. You know why they're, how you know they're not being neglected? is because they got a damn iPad. Because the parents are probably like, oh my God, I'm so like desperate to have a night out. I'll even take my kid to Swiss Chalet. I wait tables. I love when the kids have iPads. 
they they be loving the iPads, man. It's just uh, I don't know. The same people who will laugh at boomers for saying like phones bad. Whenever they see a kid with an iPad watching like edutainment, they're like iPads bad though, but unironically. Okay, actually, we don't need you. This is a great setup right here. That's just because of the mountains of research. Okay, post your mile time. <laughs> Four minutes? Fuck, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> post your fucking 30 second personal best watts per kilogram during a Matt Wilpers. Country hip hop ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can pedal my bike really fast. Not when you're going from No Scrubs by TLC straight into Rich Men North of Richmond. You know how hard it is to maintain a consistent focus during that mental whiplash? Say I think for me, I hate to say it. I mean, you shouldn't do this <laughs> in general, but what's my like post your mile time is definitely like post your resting heart rate. I'm sorry. Like, you know, if you're, you, you might be right. You might be right. Unfortunately, your resting heart rate is 89. And I'm being on right now. I'm at like I'm in the 60s somewhere, but that's just because I'm kind of jacked up right now. <laughs> when I'm relaxing, I'm more like in the mid 50s, low 50s. Okay. Okay, we've made it to the top half once more. Your team is better than mine. That's a problem. How does one? How does one do this? You do this. You do this. You need to scale. You're scaling though, okay? You need this. We could talk about these. I will buy this. This is the, the... Having life never goes out of style, brother. That's okay. Post your resting heart rate. <laughs> 55 you're lucky unless you're gonna die of brachycardia like everybody tells me I'm going to we're so back top three top three I was gonna put a <laughs> I was, I swear to you, 100% I was going to put a melon on him. Post your sperm count? Bro, I have a kid. Bro, it fucking kills. Why wouldn't I level up the dragonfly here? Like, what are you doing? Looks pretty good. I got, I'm just saying I got at least one, or at, I, at some point I did. It would be sick, dude, if you had one sperm and you, you risked it all and you hit that shot. That's like American Sniper right there. <laughs> if you go to the fertility doctor, they're like, you have one sperm left and you're like, better make it count, brother. Okay, your team is better than mine. Congrats. Never mind. I rinse you. Sorry. Post your resting heart rate. And then after all that, with your one sperm, you conceive the kid, and then 18 years later, they decide to go to a liberal arts college? No!
I'm joking. I'm joking. Did that do anything? I'm going infinite. Sorry, guys. We need the turn timer to go longer. Hello. Mm, okay, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. You got a cozy vibe. You know the shelf behind you in my meal? What? Gonzalo! Oh, from Facade. Gonzalo, <laughs> welcome! I do have a cozy vibe. Can I tell you something hilarious? Someone said NL, I need to know where to get that sweater. I didn't have the heart to tell him the ship was uh, uh, 9 dollars at H&M. <laughs> That's true. It's the model. It's not the sweater, it's the model that's making the, the sweater look nice. Oh, thank you. Derek Zoolander. A model. Idiot. You ever see Zoolander? What's that? Zoolander? Um, it's a movie about male models starring Ben Stiller, who you may know from A Night at the Museum. Nope. Didn't watch it. Who you may know from... Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Meet the parents. You gotta stop it because people go, okay, do you ever watch it? And they, they're worthless. Or no, worthless. Reckless, reckless. Madagascar? I've seen Madagascar. Mad who does, Chad, who does he play in Madagascar? Let me get Simba. He plays the lion. Me. Were they mean in your chat? Yeah. They said, oh, do you, okay. Do you even watch movies? What do you do? And I said, I watch movies. And they said, yeah, but you don't know anything. And I said, I don't watch movies that came before me. Which is valid. These are very valid points, I think. I don't go to the movie theater and go, hey, do you have movies uh, 40 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Me thinking that 40 years ago is like Casablanca and then realizing that 40 years ago is actually like my birthday. <laughs> no! No! Hey, why did you change the order of your team? I was winning. I need some of this. Somebody needs, why don't you take some of that and then you go here. Yes, yeah, yes. This kid is definitely on crack right now. Yes, <laughs> you ever see that? No. And they keep hitting this kid in the head with like a dodgeball and he goes, yeah, this is a good one. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty good. We're so back, we're so back. Oh, <laughs> come on. We have to go black screen. This is how serious the Super Auto Pets has gotten. You would not believe it. There are, I swear to you, there are genuine stream snipers out here. Do they stream snipe in Mahjong? You're getting stream sniped in Mahjong? I know. I get so angry. Ugh, and they, they hold imagine. the tiles that I need. I mean, that's just, no wonder poker streamers are like, uh, they stream on like a five minute delay. Pisses me off. I wouldn't piss me off too. I was, people were like, you got to put on a black screen. You got to put on a black screen. And I was like, come on chat. What are the odds that that actually matters? And then I was getting blown out. So I put on a black screen and immediately started kicking butt. Yeah. It, I, like my games got so much better. I play so much better when I'm not streaming. This is bad. I think we're in trouble, lads. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, 
don't hit me. I don't want you to hit me. Ah, that's me yelling. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang, hold on for one more day. One day you're gonna give it, one you're gonna, gonna give it, and give it to who? I forgot, you can't see what's happening here. But I can. I gotta hand it to you, you got some solid skunks this game. Oh, you're just better than me. All right, fair enough. <laughs> New guy just dropped. Legitimately scared Joker who really doesn't want to be hit. Come on, don't hit me. I don't want you to hit me. Don't hit me. Come on, Batman. Don't hit me. Come on. Come on. We're still doing pretty well, though. I mean, like, we've raised our... Who Olivia Munn. <laughs> we've raised ourselves back into the top 1%. I had my wisdom teeth pulled yesterday. The pain is unbearable. Kate, get out of the chat. That wasn't yesterday. That was on Friday. It was like four days ago. Oh, man. It's not that bad. It's different for everybody, man. Like mine, it was like a long time ago. It was 2015, and my recovery was actually pretty bad <laughs> because I was, uh, well, a couple of things. I'll be a naughty fireman. Um, I think I was a little old, so my teeth had become like really stuck into the jaw. Usually they like to do wisdom tooth removal whenever possible at like, you know, when the kids are in high school, right? I remember Mouth had it done when he was like 16 or 17. I didn't have it done until I was 27, which is a whole other story that I've told before. But when I was under my parents' insurance in university, I went to the dentist every six months, and they were like, I, I was always like, do I need to get my wisdom teeth taken out? And they were like, nah, it looks good. Then like the fucking instant I came off of their insurance, they were like, these fuckers gotta go. So, and this, I'm not putting on airs, I swear this is real. I went to a different dentist to get my wisdom teeth taken out because I was like, fuck that dude. I can smell this shit a mile away. Yeah, like when they took the x-rays and the shit was growing in sideways, they were like, no problem. But then like six months later, they're like, oh, yikes. The bone rotated 90 degrees. Yeah, okay. Sure it did. Anyway, like I'm not holding a grudge or whatever. Also, I think because I went to, and I know that most people go to a dentist, but. I did do pretty good. Say, hang on, I gotta think about this. There's, there's dentists that do it, and then there's different types of surgeons, okay, Dr. Han? Um, I don't know how the order works here, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Either way, I went to a dentist and uh, I had local anesthesia and they didn't give me enough anesthetic and it took way too fucking long. The top two went out easy and the bottom two, the dude was in there like um, Marcellus Wallace, you know? I was getting the pliers and the and the meat hooks and stuff, and he was cursing at me the whole time, as if like I control my bone growth. He was like, you know, you're too old. You're too old. Was, ah, ah, oh, you're so old. <laughs> Just like dying in the chair, and then the teeth came out as like little chips. So I almost had to get like vacuum the socket afterwards. Um, which is whatever, regardless. When it was over, it was over, and then the recovery hurt a lot, especially in the bottom. But uh, I understand if you have them out younger, most of the time the recovery is just like, I mean, it depends how they grow in, I guess, but most of the time the recovery is just like a couple of days of bed rest and then you might be back at school the next day looking like the rescue rangers.
you're funnier on YouTube in those clip compilations. You understand that's me, right? Like the stuff that you see, I just have to ask because you never know these days. That what you're seeing on YouTube in the compilation is like what I'm making right now. And then the best of it goes into the comp. That's like saying, you know, Huey Lewis and the News Greatest Hits is better than Huey Lewis and the News Sports. Of course it is, because you don't respect the LP as a format, okay? You don't respect a side one, track one. You just want to hear nothing but the top 40 hits nonstop. I, on the other hand, I respect the art form. Uh, I respect the, the logical flow that goes from track one to track 45 if we're talking about a Guided by Voices album or track one to track two if we're talking about a Yes album. And not everybody does, and that's okay. It's your life. As, as Gwen Stefani said, it's your life. Would I buy two of these to get a level? I, maybe, maybe, and then sell it, spend six gold to get something that is, it doesn't seem right. Three thirteen camel, fucking <laughs> congrats. How you been liking the cooler weather? Oh man, I'm for it. I know it's a recurring bit lately, but I'm, I'm very much over the summer. Sorry, Demi Lovato. You got cooler weather already? I think we've gotten to the point where we get like one hot day and then like two mild days. The summer was like 50 hot days in a row. But now it's like, it's probably around the mid to high teens in celsius is like somewhere in the 13 to 20 range is a little overcast it's it's gorgeous this is not looking great boys an important unit it is you, you you can't go though nobody on the squad can go nobody's expendable somebody's got to go somebody's got to go bro it's got to be you and you because you're you, you got something you got something i don't know what it is but you got it milk me See where you stand. Pug's useless. Yeah, for like a second. Is Vancouver humid? I didn't think it was. Then I looked it up and apparently it's pretty humid. Which makes sense because it is like right next to the damn ocean. That sucked. Never mind, we're the best ever. It's not compared to Ontario, and I, like I think I got blown out on humidity because I've been thinking about Florida. Like Orlando ruined my life, basically. Oh! <laughs> Hang on, man's got to think. And eh, we probably don't need a level three leech. Isn't it a temperate rainforest climate-wise? It is, but I don't... It, I, they always say Vancouver is a rainforest, but it's like I'm never walking outside on like the corner of Granville and Broadway and I hear someone go like... I never hear that, man. And that's like my perception of a rainforest is like it's full of things where you're like, is that a bird? I don't know. We're so back. You ever get monsoons? We get atmospheric rivers, but I don't know the... Uh, I'll just be honest with you, I don't know the difference. <laughs> so I think it's gotta be like, you're gone. You're here. You get placed. It would be really nice to start running a cheetah. 
But in order to run a cheetah, we need a scaler as well. Not a Skyler, Walt. Relax. Okay, everything's frozen. Oh, we're so close to the top half. Steven Malkmus at uh, the Norwegian Pavilion at Epcot. Everything's frozen here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 90s dads. <laughs> dads who were dads now. Dads of kids now who they themselves were younger in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Pavement, you know what I'm saying? Pavement. So close. Why did I get blown out by Moobot for saying ki ki ki, tuki tuki? <laughs> well, you should have thought of that before you said ki ki ki, tuki tuki, okay? It's that simple. I think we're going Skylar, Skylar White mode. Does Canada have any big name theme parks? Yeah, we got one. It's called Canada's Wonderland. Please don't put me up against the melon capybara this game or <laughs> this round. I'm begging you, man. Canada's Wonderland, I think, is pretty good. Kate, are you in chat? I'm being honest with you. I think that I am in danger. And I, this is not a career... Well, not a career arc, but... This is not like a, an arc of personality I expected for myself. I think I might be in danger of becoming a roller coaster guy. Despite having been scared of roller coasters in the past... I think it is possible that I may be becoming a roller coaster guy. What makes me think that? Once I got over my fear of the of mostly heights, I'm not worried about going fast. It's it's always heights. Um, once I have started to internalize the fact that like the roller coaster is probably not gonna crash, the idea of it seems a lot more appealing to me. Also, and this is. I swear to you this is true, and there's no way to say it that doesn't sound psychotic. But I think that having a kid, I can't afford to die, basically. It would be emotionally devastating, financially quite problematic for my family. So, and how does that play into it? Well, I don't know, but it's we, ever since I had a kid, when I like get on an airplane, I'm not scared anymore. Cause I'm like, it, 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 this doesn't make any sense. Here's the thing, you have no control over it either, either way. But I'm like, if we live in a just universe, I can't die. Before I had a kid, sure, God could have killed me, could have struck me down, and my parents would have been like really sad. Big whoop, okay? <laughs> not big whoop, but... <laughs> now... Ever since then, I've gotten on airplanes, or even like some rides. I, admittedly, they're only at Disney World, but I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm daring you, motherfucker. You're going to kill me? You're going to kill me? You're going to ruin like eight lives? You're going you're gonna to fucking blow me up on Leviathan or something at Canada's Wonderland? The track's going to break? Go ahead, motherfucker. Go ahead. Don't you have enough of a PR problem? Like in a weird way, I know I'm, I'm safer now, which is, here's the thing. You're going to say you're not safer, and that's true. But I was never in danger to begin with because the odds of the roller coaster breaking and killing me was like near zero to begin with. So it's just a way of like remodeling it in my own head. I don't know if other dads feel like this though. But now it used to be like, I haven't accomplished anything with my life. You can't kill me. I'm scared. Now I'm like, fucking do it, bro. See if I give a shit. <laughs> At least my ass is going to die sitting down. Probably going... <laughs> but... We broke his melon armor! Okay, that's a problem. At some point, we're gonna have to punch through that.
I remember you almost cried when I told you we were going to Fuji Q. Yeah, Fuji Q is like a very serious, um, like fucking roller coaster theme park. This ain't your granddad's like spinning teacups. It's like for Japanese standards, they have like some of the biggest and fastest and tallest and scariest roller coasters in Japan. Um, and I was like, oh, fuck. I don't, we do, like the train pulled in by the roller coasters the day before we were going to go. And every single one was just like, you just, the windows open, you just hear, ah, ah, ah. And you're like, oh my God, I can't believe we got to <laughs> go there tomorrow. And then it was like March, maybe like the second or third week of March. I was dreading it so much. And then it fucking snowed like a blizzard and they had to close the theme park <laughs> i have never been so saved in my entire yeah kate was very unhappy and i was like oh that sucks in my head i was like yes <laughs> thank you god thank you can you just kill not me, so I can come in second. We have, we don't have enough scaling, man. I'm realizing this now. So what are we going to do? What the hell are we going to do? That's not going to do it, brother. <laughs> we yes, we will die. We have no scale. We can't we can't really even afford to change anything, honestly. Buy a sea lion, brother. Come on. 4 HP. Oh no, I'm overriding my own death touch too. Either so you just got to accept sometimes in super auto pets like I mean, just listen, okay? We lost to them, and we lost to you. So, we're pretty much toasted either way. It's not like you're going to find... It's not like a free agency period where you're going to get it all together. Wait, we actually might have won this one. If we didn't screw it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Well, that's a clone anyway. Oh, whatever. Okay, we were 16-10. 16-12! Let's go! Okay, Tomo... I love you too, buddy. You, you gotta move away a little bit, though, okay? You just gotta give me some personal space. See, now you've returned immediately. <clears throat> Hi, Tomo. There you go. He hates it, but he was purring like crazy. <laughs> 